Okay, let's get into the zone of this wonderful cast. Happy Saturday, everybody. Everybody in the club, we're going to look at a Zerg versus Protoss game. In the top right hand corner of this new, wonderful, beautiful map known as Blue Shift, representing Clan Cool, it is Kamachi. Going for a hatch gas, hatch pool. Rather bold, if I say so myself, and I do say so myself. This is three bases, three hatches against one nexus. Chrono boosting the cyber core. Twilight Council, second gateway. Overlord sees there's no expansion. Why is there no expansion? There's an adept. There's a gateway. The twilight has been scouted. This pylon. This pylon is going to power a gateway. Boom. But how did I know? Because if the pylon is attached to a warp gate, then the units are warped in faster from this location. And they're going to want another gateway anyway, so they might as well just expedite that whole process. This is a great number of zerglings. Hmm. So it looks like Kamachi is going to do a 28 Zergling run by. These adepts are going to shade across the map or just walk. They're getting some exercise. Oh dear. That is unfortunate. Protoss has two probes now. At least the adepts got a good trade there. So these are Glaive Adepts, and that was a good bit of damage, but two probes, that's twice as many as one probe. And I know some people might be saying, well, isn't one of them like forward on the map and not mining? Yes, you're right, that's true. But these Adepts are scaring me right now. This is 13 Adepts against 25 Lings. I don't know. I don't know, dude. There's a spore crawler in case of the ID of DTs, but there are no DTs. It's just 13 adepts. And the shade is cancelled. And the queens are being killed. It's a full ling surround. Can they take out these adepts? These adepts are the counter unit to the zerglings. No, all of the lings are killed. And the adepts are in the main. The drones are being pulled. More lings are emerging from the hatches. There's a lair. That's not going to save us. Drones mining from this third queen gets the inject. Oh no. What seemed like such an easy and free win has turned into an actual disaster. And the one probe continued to mine gas from the assimilator. Wow. Wow. That's an interesting stylistic thing, right? Because you would think, well, some people would be like, no, I want minerals. But Gelios here is saying, no, I want gas, right? And that's part of what makes us unique as players, isn't it? Those stylistic preferences. Okay, these adepts are going to be chipping away at this base. Look at the glaive. It's even like an orange... It's orange. Is that for the skin or is that when you get the upgrade? The swimming pool is almost done for Kamachi though. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Now the adepts are probably feeling very good about themselves. Gonna go over here. It's a mass spine crawler wall. One of the spines falls. The lings are trying their best. But the adepts are just too dang strong. Another spine falls, and another one. And the queen dies. Wow. Ah. There's a hidden base. Look. Kamachi has a hidden base. And still, the probe harvested Vespine. There's a lot of larvae here, but the swimming pool is dead. There's a queen. 
Gonna spread some creep. Don't mind me, just spreading creep over here. The lings! Oh no, now Gilios can't mine gas! Never forget the 576 gas that the probe mined. I'm sad for that probe. But there's another. Where is it? No, it died. Where did the other probe go? It's a base race. Is it though? It is. It's a it's a base race. Hmm. But there's a recall. <laughs> okay. Kamachi only has four lings, but there's a base mining now. And the adepts don't know where it is. Man, this has got to be tough. This has got to be tough stuff. Another base in the corner of the map. Okay, the adepts have to go around. Slight criticism. This might come off as a very negative comment. I hope not. I think your stream is outstanding, your games, music, and people in the chat. However, this segment is probably much appreciated by the actual player in the replay. Not sure about the rest of us. Hope I don't come off as a D-bag. What do you think, chat? What do you think? Oh, when did these, what? I guess the adepts have been split up. These adepts coming over here to the final mining base of Kamachi. 576 gas in the bank. Not a single probe, nor the ability to make a probe. It all depends on this push. This final push. The final push. Everything depends on these adepts. They do have glaives. There is ling speed, but there are two queens. One of the adepts falls, and then there were nine. A queen dies. It's down to the wire. The adepts are in the back corner, taking out two of the lings. And they're behind the base here, just gradually making their way around, focusing down the swimming pool. Oh, the queen is getting low. Got the ling taken out. So we've got 19 lings against nine adepts. But the two spines could turn the tide. Got to cancel. Cancel on that shade. The adepts are working on the Bailing's nest now. This is a very dicey situation. One Bailing is being morphed. Broodlings helping out. The adepts are trying to focus the Bane. The Bane is killed. There are these nine drones at this other base, in the opposite corner. Spine, unable to take out these adepts. So the lings are gonna run around. And we're just restarting the macro over here with another pool. You just can't kill the Zerg, can you? Some lings going over to the main, some lings working on this pylon and gateway situation. There is another pylon here. These adepts just being very careful, very meticulous about killing every structure. Recall. Safe. So the adepts have recalled, and these spines need to be uprooted. Okay, they're going to go on an adventure. There's a lot of larvae here that could be used, but the pool isn't done yet. So it would have to be drones. There's some larvae here, too. This creep is providing that um, that opportunity for survival. Oh no! This part always makes me sad. Anyways. There are 18 lings somewhere defending this base. It must be a really kind of scary game state if you're the adepts here, because it's like you don't know anything 
aside from what you can see around you. Like, there are no oracles scouting, no observers, none of that stuff. Oh, can the adepts kill the spines before they're rooted? One of these spines is taken out, it gets one poke. One poke, two poke, red poke, blue poke, blue poke. Got him. Okay, the two spines are dead. The adepts are gonna shade about. They see here, there are three overlords, but the adepts can't do anything about those. This Protoss has been out of probes for almost the entire game. But with a few adepts and some dedicated effort over time, you can make magic happen. Miracles are possible. Nine adepts coming up the ramp here, and they see another similar base to the four other bases they had killed previously. The Ling's got a pretty good surround there. The adepts are kind of uh, split up. But they are dealing some really great damage. Ooh, I don't know if they can beat this. There's a lot of bugs now. 22 links, three spine crawlers, one queen. One base remains for the Zerg. There's no backup base this time. The Adept shade around the backside. The spines can't help here. One Adept falls, two, three. Three Adepts fall, there are only four left. And there are more links coming out. The queen trying to focus down that low Adept. It's pulled back with one hit point. Oh, and it's killed by the queen. Three adepts. Oh, and the adepts resign to their fate of being poked to death by the spines. And Kamachi wins. Wow. Wow. I have a hard time believing that that kind of game is not fun to watch. Thank you, Kamachi, for sharing that. I have not seen that before. <sighs> when two silly geese love each other very much, magic happens.